Hey guys, um, this will be my May update um, number four. Um, yeah, I know it's a lot, but like I say, in all the videos so far, my student loan came through, so that's what's bought everything. Um, well, I haven't spent too much of it on it, to be fair. Probably works out about 300 quid in total, if that. But yeah, anyway, right, I'll get on with the update because um, there's quite a bit in here. I've still got four more, I think, to come. So I'll put that in another update, whether that will be in May or June, I don't know. But anyway, first we have The Hills Have Eyes 2, part 2, the original. Uh, really looking forward to seeing this. Uh, sadly, we, well, sadly, we, uh, me and the missus saw the, uh, the remakes first, and we quite enjoyed them. So we had a look into getting the originals, and we, got, we watched the original uh, a few, maybe a month ago, and really enjoyed it, so had to get this. And I love this front cover. Really like love a poster of that. I really like that. Okay, next we have Strange Things Happen at Sundown, which I kind of blind bought. Um, I saw it was a vampire. I quite like the cover. I like the title. Bought it stupidly. Watched the trailer. Looks shit. Uh, then we have Murder Party. Uh, I saw this on someone's video a long time ago, and it sounded cool. I think it's about someone throwing a Halloween party called a murder party, but it all goes wrong. But it's comedy as well, and Go check the trailer out for this because I know a lot of you would enjoy it. Really looks good. It's Murder Party. Uh, then we have Curfew. I saw this on Terra for Tommy's um, one of his updates and he recommended it, so I thought I'd pick it up. It looks really fun. On the tagline, in by ten, dead by midnight. Can't get much more cheesy than that. Uh, then we have Jess Franco's Kiss Me Monster. Kinda blind bought this. Uh, we liked a few of his other movies, so we thought, why not check it out? Um, looks okay. I mean, all these only cost me a quid, so if that shit, it doesn't really bother me. Then we have Brotherhood of Blood. Um, this has um, Victoria Pratt and Jason Connery, who are apparently more important than Ken Forey and Sid Haig, who are also in this movie, but it looks like a lot of fun. Um, and I think Sid Haig and Ken Forey are vampires in it, so that looks kind of cool. Um, but yeah, definitely looks like a good movie. Now, House of Frankenstein, uh, part of the Universal Cinema's Classics. Just to go with the set. I'll get around to watching all these one day. Um, I think this is the one where uh, Lon Chaney Jr. No. Boris Karloff. No, 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 no. Who plays Frankenstein Monster? Glenn Strange plays the Frankenstein Monster in this one. Um, Boris Karloff actually plays a scientist. Gustav Neiman. Neiman? Yeah, it looks fun. Uh, now we have Catacombs. This looks like a fun. Uh, run of the mill modern horror movie but it's set in the catacombs underneath Paris which I um, um, really want to visit myself but I have like slight claustrophobia so I don't know how I deal with it um, but it'd be cool to see it in a movie and that was the main reason I wanted this movie and the main reason my girlfriend wanted the movie is because it has Pink in it and she's a huge fan of her um, Alicia Moore that's Pink's real name if you didn't know um, and then we have London Voodoo this I saw in Bizarre Magazine years ago, and as I have a fascination with things like voodoo and the swamps and stuff, um, I really wanted to see this. It looks, it looks very, very good. Okay, um, these are all kind of sets or special editions that i got now. Um, I seem to be going through these quite quickly, but oh well. Okay, so then we have the uh, Black Exploitation, the big payback box set, uh, which has six original badass Black Exploitation movies in it. Um, I got this basically because we watched um, Big, the Big Birdcage um, recently. When I got the, um, if you saw on my update, I got the Roger Corman collection, and uh, that was in there, and absolutely loved that movie. Um, so I've been exploring black exploitation, and because of uh, Matai of the Dead and Cinema Sewer, I've been kind of exploring exploitation in movies in general a lot more. So um, I thought the best way to pick it up would to get six. Black exploitation movies for a cheap price. I think I got this for a fiver. Um, and it has on it TNT Jackson, The Black Godfather, The Black Six, The Black Gestapo, Black Fist, and Get Christy Love. Um, all look like a lot of fun. I don't know if you can see much of that one there. Um, comes like that. Got two movies there, and then you've got ooh, flip, flippy disc thing and another two. So yeah, really looking forward to watching them. Then. Um, so that should be good. Black exploitation box set. Uh, then I got, ooh, I got this on eBay for two pound. 
all uh, this was, uh, first of all it's the Reservoir Dogs the um, tin can edition I don't I think there's a rarer one than this I don't think this is like anything numbered or anything I think it's a rarer one that has more in it um, but this was cheap because of that that's it that comes off see I could easily be glued back on because it looks like that's all it was in the first place was glued um, and it's perfect other than that and for two pound with free postage I can't complain so the top comes off like that and you get these art cards inside, which I haven't actually opened yet, but I'm going to. Also, I should let you all know, I haven't seen Reservoir Dogs. So, that's another reason why I bought it. Oh, for God's sake, why put a flap on it if it doesn't open it? Stupid thing. Alright. What have we got in here then? We've got... Nobody tells me shit. You can't talk. You can talk to me all you want. I'm not going to say these quotes because I don't have a clue how to say them, and I'll probably make them sound stupid. So that's that one. That one. These quite cool. I'm assuming the colours are to do with the people because I know the named colours. And that one. I mean, they're quite cool. Nothing special, but. Better than nothing, isn't it? Um, and then inside you get... Ooh, comes in like a big matchbook. Like that. Should open up like that. And then you've got the two discs inside. Which is quite cool. Um, so yeah, I, I never watched this movie. Um, I know it's Quentin Tarantino and that's about it. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to checking that out. It's not really my type of movie. I'll probably after watching it kick myself out if I haven't watched it. But yeah, can't really moan at that for two pounds just because of that. So yeah. Okay. Um, second to last, we have Fulci's Box of Terror from Shameless. This comes with uh, New York Ripper, Black Cat, and Manhattan Baby. This was um, I can't remember how much it was actually, but I got it from HMV. I actually went looking for the Fantastic uh, Factory box set, which has Bride of Reanimator, Faust, uh, Roman Sarta, or Santana or something, and another movie in it, but got this instead because it was there and the other one wasn't, and I wanted something. So you got uh, Manhattan Baby, I've done this in the wrong order, The Black Cat, and New York Ripper. It's a good time because um, I would have, I haven't really explored. Italian horror much um, therefore why I haven't entered Last of Lots competition um, especially not, I mean I've never seen any Argento yet, which is a shame I know, and I haven't seen, I've seen one uh, Fulci which is House by the Cemetery and didn't really enjoy it because I couldn't follow what was going on and I was very young and didn't have an appreciation for the movie so I need to try watching that again as well as these three here um, but yeah I don't know if I <sighs> It depends. If I absolutely love these movies, then obviously I'll probably look more into Italian horror, but it's not a place that I'm, I'm particularly looking at at the moment. Okay, and then finally, I got this from America, which is the Edward box. Um, I saw this on... Oh, I think it's Pretty Little Monster. I might have got that completely wrong, but I think that's her name. Um, it was on the back of her... Um, in the background when she does her videos and I just love the front cover so I searched and searched instead of asking her like a normal person searched and searched to try and find it and finally found out what it was just for the box which at the end of the day is quite flimsy um, ordered it from America and it came within like a week which was awesome so yeah it's the Edward box collection and it comes with Glenn or Glenda which stars Bella Lugosi um, Lyle Talbot Sure, I know that name, but I don't know why. Jail Bait, uh, which also has Lyle Talbot in it. Um, I need to find out where I know that nail, name from. So. Uh, Bride of the Monster, which I already owned, but in a very bad version of it, uh, which has Bella Lugosi in it. Yeah. Plan 9 from Outer Space, which of course most people know about, also has Bella Lugosi in it. Um, Night of the Ghouls. Looks awesome. And then The Haunted World of Edward D. Wood Jr., which is a documentary about him. 
So yeah, that's um, six DVDs there. I think in total it cost me about 15 quid with it and the postage from America, which isn't bad really.